Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean and this is our Nutley Vitter Report for Tuesday, January 5th, 2016. Um, really not a whole lot to go over tonight. There was a lot of jockeying around, but uh, pretty much, uh, you know, we, we ended the day a little bit positive. The Dow was uh, kicking and screaming the entire way. It seemed like the S&P was, uh, you know, probably the strongest out of all of them throughout the day. And then uh, we saw... You know, the, the NASDAQ, you know, make a little move towards the uh, end of the day as well as the Dow. But overall, it's really nothing. So right now, uh, you, you know, we're just looking at the we made it through the 23 percent retracement. The next stop with really what the bulls have to get through is the 2024. But honestly, it really just looks like we're we're making some type of uh, bear flag here. So I wouldn't be all that anxious to be looking to buy this market right now. I, if it starts popping up and getting through some of these levels, then I would be interested. But right now, I mean, you can see even if we get up, even on the short term charts, we're going to get some bearish divergences there. Uh, and if it pops up, you really want to keep an eye 2024, 2035 area. Um, above that, then it will start getting my attention, and we could see a move up to the 2046. But right now, just really the way that this is going, we could pop up because this looks like a little bull flag. But overall, it's a bull flag within a bear flag because you can see the big move down. So if we take a look at the 15-minute chart, again, we don't really have any bullish, divergence, uh, bullish divergences because... The price oscillator was at the low when this low was made, so that would imply that we're, this is just some kind of counter trend uh, move. If it starts getting through to 2024, again, the 2035 and the 2046 would be the next stops, and that's pretty much where this, uh, where the moving average is, as well as this resistance here, and the, also the fib retracement. So the 2046, if it pops up there, I may be interested in possibly looking short there as long as we get some bearish divergences. But right now we're neutral on the SMI. We don't have any bullish divergences. We don't have any bearish divergences. So you just want to remain neutral. Uh, it, it could pop up and again make it up to this 2035, 2046 area, close this gap. But from there, it most likely will be making a move down from there and it may just be an ABC move or it may just turn from here. So I think it would be a little risky going long even for this move here. And uh, again, I would rather get long if these lows get taken out. So if we open up down tomorrow and these get taken out, then we wait for it to find support down here because then we're going to have bullish divergences and uh, it would be a better buying opportunity because right now it's still, you know, it can go either way and make sense. So I would stick with the neutral hat. There's really not much more I can uh, really add to this. It, it's It was a pretty much a nothing day uh, with just a lot of uh, movement up and down, but ending pretty much where we started. So with that, let's see what plays out tomorrow and have a great night.